Well, we're very excited about our uh, team coming back. We've got a veteran team uh, and also some newcomers, so uh, it's a great mix. Uh, the schedule is always challenging. The Big East Conference is one of the top conferences in the country for cross country uh, annually, so that's always the big challenge. Uh, but we've got a group that, uh, you know, hopefully we are going to move our way up. We're working our way up uh, kind of from the low end up to the top end. So this year should be a, a peak opportunity for us to show some great improvement. Early in the year, I think we're looking forward to the uh, meetup in Boston. It's, it's going to bring some of the best teams in the country up to Franklin Park. We're going to run at Franklin Park later in the year for the NCAA uh, Regional Championships. So we're going to give our kids an opportunity to run on that course to get some uh, experience on it. Uh, obviously, the Big East meet out in Cincinnati this year is going to always be a, a highlight of the season. Uh, the regional championship are back up in Boston and then the East AC meet at Van Cortlandt Park. Uh, early in the year we run the Met Championships in Van Cortlandt so that's our local uh, who's the best team in New York City so we're, we try to get ready for that one as well. well we have the Van Pelt sisters back and uh, Carrie Butler are back so we have three seniors, uh, pretty strong seniors coming back. Uh, Izzy Bat Doyle is, is a sophomore, she's one of our top runners from a year ago. Uh, her and Stephanie Van Pelt have an opportunity to be some of the better distance runners in the East United States. And then we have a couple of newcomers, uh, Elizabeth Constantino and uh, Antonia Howard and uh, Shannon Page and Kirsten Kaminsky is going to give us a little more depth than we have in the past. So melding them all together, uh, I think you know potentially our team could be one of the better teams we've had. The training season actually starts July. We always start middle of July, so hopefully the last couple of weeks the girls have been getting some good work done <laughs> on their own before we get back. But uh, once we do get back, we get try to get into a big consistent uh, training pattern. We're trying to run anywhere from 45 to 75 miles a week. Uh, I usually go six days a week. We go try to go two days a, two days a week. We're actually doing double sessions, a morning session, afternoon session, and so forth. It's mostly longer distance running, you know, getting our mileage up and getting our legs, uh, legs stronger, aerobic capacity stronger, uh, and then melding the girls, you know, getting the girls to run together. The key issue is, is just trying to learn to run together and, uh, you know, enjoy each other's company and help with the work levels and so forth. So uh, the fall is always a fun time. It always gets the year off. The weather's great. and. Uh, you can't be cross country.